Oxy MBBS, one step solution for all medical studies. Hi friends, welcome back in this series of lectures on the brachial plexus. So, till last video we reached up to the branches of the roots and branches from the upper trunk. And now in this video we will talk what are the branches of the lateral cord, posterior cord and medial cord. And also we will talk how will you remember the root values of these nerves from the roots. That is root values of dorsal scapular nerve and long thoracic nerve nerve okay friends now first let's talk how will you remember the root values of these two nerves so it is very simple friends first take this nerve here that is long thoracic nerve this is long thoracic nerve thoracic nerve now friends before going further i am requesting you to please watch my separate video on mnemonic because for these alphabets we are going to use some codings which i have described in the mnemonic video by the way friends the coding for the alphabet l is 5 and for g it is 6 and coding for N is 2 but there is no meaning to use this 2 here because our brachial plexus starts from C5 and ends at T1 nerve. So only L and G is helpful for us. And just add one more root value that is C7. So this is the root value of long thoracic nerve. In this way friends, this long will itself remind you that its root value is C5, C6 and C7. Okay friends, now friends take dorsal scapular nerve here. So here is dorsal scapular nerve. So coding for D is 9, coding for R is 4, coding for S is 0. Coding for L is 5. As our brachial plexus starts from C5 and ends at T1. So from C5 to T1 numbers are 5, 6, 7, 8 and 1. And within these numbers there is no 9, 4 and 0. And only there is 5. So this dorsal will itself remind you that my root value is 5. So take only L for making code and its code is 5. In this way friends you can remember the root values of these two nerves. So again for the dorsal you will use L alphabet and for the L there is number 5 coding and for the long you will use L and G and you will add one extra number that is 7. So for L it is 5 and for G it is 6 and you are adding one extra number and that is 7 because after 5 and 6 there comes 7. So root values of long thoracic nerve are C5, C6 and C7. And for branches of the upper trunk there is no need to make any mnemonic because friends it is obvious that their root values must be c5 and c6 because they are branched from the upper trunk and upper trunk is formed from c5 and c6 root values now friends we will see what are the branches of the lateral cord first then medial cord and in the last we will see the branches of the posterior cord now as you know lateral cord gives how many branches three branches one two three posterior cord and medial cord gives how many branches five one two three four five one two three four and five so friends for the lateral cord there is a very nice mnemonic and that is l m l so from this L there is lateral pectoral nerve, from M there is musculocutaneous nerve and from this L there is lateral root of median nerve. So friends it is obvious that if lateral pectoral nerve is from lateral cord then medial pectoral nerve will be from which cord? Medial cord. If lateral root of median nerve is from lateral cord then it is obvious that medial root of median nerve will be from medial cord. So friends in the medial cord these two nerves are clear 
Now, how will you remember that ulnar nerve is a branch of medial cord? It is again very simple, friends. As you know, these two bones, radius and ulna, are present in the forearm of the upper limb. And as this ulna bone is present towards the body, it means it is medial to the body. And as medial cord is also present in the medial side of the medial side of the friends, please tell me medial side of the axillary artery. Yes, you are correct. And the name of the ulna nerve is given so because it is present along the ulna bone. In this way, friends, you can remember the ulna nerve is a branch of medial cord. So these three main nerves are clear and remaining two are medial cutaneous nerve of arm and medial cutaneous nerve of forearm. So friends, you can see the importance of this LML mnemonic because with the help of this mnemonic along with the branches of the lateral cord, you also remember the branches of the medial cord as well just by applying some simple logic. Now friends, we will see what are the branches of the posterior cord. So here the lateral root from the lateral cord and medial root from the medial cord joins together to form a median nerve. Now friends, it is obvious that median nerve will have all root values from C5 to T1. As a lateral root is a branch from the lateral cord and a lateral cord is formed from the anterior division of the upper trunk and anterior division of the middle trunk and upper trunk is formed from the C5 and C6 root values and middle trunk is formed from the C7 root value and medial root is the branch from the medial cord and medial cord is the continuation of the anterior division from the lower trunk and the lower trunk is formed as you know from C8 and T1 root values. So these are the five branches of the posterior cord and these are thoracodosal nerve, axillary nerve and this largest one nerve of the brachial plexus that is radial nerve, upper subscapular nerve and lower subscapular nerve. Now you will have a question in your mind that why radial nerve is the largest nerve of the brachial plexus. So it is very simple as radial nerve is the branch of the posterior cord and posterior cord is formed from posterior divisions of three trunks. That is why radial nerve is the largest nerve, largest nerve of the brachial plexus. And after radial nerve, there is, please tell me friends, which nerve? Which have all root values from C5 to T1. Yes, friends, you are correct. That is median nerve. So friends, this is all for today. In the next video, we will see how can you remember that all these nerves are the branches from the posterior cord and how can you remember the root values of the radial nerve, axillary nerve, thoracodorsal nerve, ulnar nerve and musculocutaneous nerve as these nerves are very important for the regular MBBS students as well as for the PG aspirants. Okay friends?